I want to now talk, Annalise, about your relationship. Last night was very emotional for you. Mm -hmm. uh, how did it feel when Camille told you that you might not be the girl for him? Um, <sighs> uh, yeah, it was hard. And I think watching it, rewatching it last night was, was almost harder because it made it feel like it was more final. I mm -hmm. think when it happened a couple weeks ago, I still felt like, OK, you know, maybe there's still a chance for us. And then re-watching it last night, um, it was just really hard. It was really, it was an emotional night. I was sitting there watching it with my mom and she started tearing up watching me and then I started crying watching her, so. Oh, sorry. We have tissues over there, we have tissues, and we're here for you. You are so strong. I, I will say that I was incredibly impressed with how you handled yourself. And girl, when you came back on that stage <laughs> and you spoke your mind, I was really proud of you. That took a lot of courage. I completely blacked out. I mean, I, <laughs> I think that was part of it, is watching it back. I was like, oh, words came out of my mouth. Yeah. So that was good. <laughs> yeah. If you could, what would you say to Camille right now? Um, just that I wish that, I wish that I could go back in time and that we could be friends and continue to work on things and see if they could be better, but I think, um, I don't know, I just think for my like own mental health right now, it's probably not like the smartest thing, but I, of course, want the best for him, and yeah, I just hope that America gives him a little bit of, a, a little bit of, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Just a little bit. Forgiveness? Forgiveness, yeah. And it's just kind, because at the end of the day, like, we did have a strong relationship. It wasn't all depicted on television, mm -hmm. but um, I know the person that he is, and I just, I feel bad that people are being so hard on him now. Yeah. Obviously, how the show was last night, I mean, I feel like a lot, it was understandable, because people are angry, but, um, but he is a good person. Well, that speaks no, to nice, yeah. your character, too, the fact that you are that open and caring towards him. And it shows that you had a really strong relationship because if he just treated you badly the whole time, you would probably be able to move on a little bit more easily. Yeah. So are you open to giving the relationship another shot, or do you think that door is closed? Um, I don't know. I'm. It's been like a roller coaster of emotions and feelings. And I think, so after, after we filmed the reunion, um, he and I continued to talk and actually it was probably, there was like a week there that it was probably the best, we weren't together as a couple, but it was like the best our relationship had ever been. Mm -hmm. We, um, I think it was just because there was no pressure on it anymore. So we had very deep conversations and, uh, and I think that's sort of why I was thinking, oh, maybe this, maybe this still could be something. And we sort of decided at that time to be friends and just maybe if he's in San Francisco or I'm in New York, we see each other and like go on a date and just see where things go. I don't know if that's still the case, mm -hmm. um, just because obviously last night, it's just been really hard on both of us. So I think there's just a lot of emotions and anger and hurt on both parts. Mm -hmm. So I think um, it's just gonna take a little bit of time for both of us to heal. And then who knows, but I, I really care about him as a person and I, I hope that at least, if nothing else, someday that we can be friends. Well, we're here for you. Yeah, All of Bachelor here. Nation is here for you. Yeah. <laughs> but you, you said that you almost broke up with him two weeks before the reunion. Yeah, we had been going through a little bit of a rocky patch, and I just didn't feel like I was getting everything that I needed from the relationship. Mm -hmm. And I called him, and I, I said, I just don't know if I can do this anymore. And in that conversation, that's when he was like, I don't want to lose you, and I'm going to do whatever I can to fight for you. And I did feel like that happened. Yeah. There was like a couple days where all of a sudden our relationship started to, you know, get better. And then I just felt like it sort of plateaued again. And it was hard, the distance, having the show, there was just so many factors that uh, it was hard for our relationship to, to really move forward. So it just, it was in a very, very weird place for quite some time. Mm. Um, and I think that's sort of where it came to a halt. I think we were both really looking forward to spending the week together after the reunion and sort of getting that one-on-one -on -one time that we really needed as a couple to see if our relationship could continue or if we could make it work. And so I think we both just felt like, okay, we're, we're okay. We're not great, but we're like, we're good. Mm -hmm. We both have mutual respect for each other and we want the best for each other, so let's see where this goes. 
Um, but then obviously that all just got derailed at the reunion show. Well, everyone wants you to find love. So yeah. moving yeah. forward, what are you looking for in a man? Um, I mean, I guess I'm just going to go back to what I was saying the whole time I was in paradise. I just want somebody who is kind and who adores me. And I mean, obviously I want all of the other things. I want somebody who's funny and intelligent and um, makes me feel like the best version of myself mm. and makes me want to, you know, push them and make them the best versions of themselves. But, uh, but yeah, it's just the simple things. And that's, I'm very open and that's the thing. Like, I think that's why it was so easy for me to date people in paradise was because I was just really open to the experience and open to seeing the best in every everyone that, that was there and, and really trying to find that connection. Well, you know, we, we talked about the fact that you have to love yourself first before you're yes. ready to be with someone else. And I can tell that you do. I mean, the way that you defended yourself and you went back <laughs> out there, you have to love yourself to be able to do that. Yeah. So you're going to, I have a good yeah. feeling <laughs> about your future. You're going to find someone, it. it's either Camille or it's someone <laughs> else, but like, it's yeah. going to happen for you. Thank you. And you deserve it. Thank um, you. One more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell, never miss a video.